What's up guys and welcome to another episode of El Jardín Perito. Today we're micro composting. All right, so as gardeners, we're pretty much all familiar with the concept of composting. Um, it can go a number of different ways. Some people show a very complicated process. Some people get confused by ratios and this and that. Um, some people just use chickens and throw a bunch of crap in there, like I kind of do on the side too. But this is something, um, it's a pretty cool concept. It's not this big thing and I'm not gonna tag myself as like, the founder of it or anything because you know composting in general is a very well known and people do it in all sorts of different ways so I'm sure someone out there is doing it in this way um, the thing with composting if you're doing it the right way uh, it's said to have a mass of four by four by four feet cube and all that thermal mass and everything together does a really good job of composting well in this scenario I'll show you guys in a second I have it all just in a pot. It's a pretty big pot, but I'd say it's more, it is round in circumference, but <clears throat> I'd say it's only like two feet up, uh, maybe two and a half feet across. It's small, it's micro, but it works really well. And basically what I'm doing is as I'm pruning and doing stuff in the front here, the front lawn, um, I'm just throwing stuff in there, twigs and stuff. I have hay for my goats. If a lot of hay spills out, over the duration of feedings. Um, I will just gather the dried up hay, throw it in there. If I have some old potting mix, you know, something died or something, I'll throw that in there. And now that it's spring here, grass is growing like crazy. Of course, I throw in grass clippings. And uh, I will add my secret ingredient, which is urine. Um, yes, from time to time, um, especially if I'm out back or something, I have uh, some gallon containers and I'll just, you know, relieve myself and collect that and let it simmer. As weird as it may sound to a newcomer, some of you other guys, you probably piss on your compost piles. And there's lots of nitrogen and other things, you know, your body, anything it doesn't use as far as nutrients comes out of your urine. So it's actually really beneficial, but what's happening here, I have it in a small pot it's right uh, in front where I do a lot of uh, my nursery stuff and a lot of my different gardening things. So I'm always kind of tentative. So I'm watering it every day and turning it every day. And it's really easy to. So that's the difference between this micro composting and when you think of, you know, a huge thing that people only have time to turn like once a week and it's this big thing and you've got a fork. And, you know, this is like I grab a little garden tool mix it around and it gets really hot. It's working quick. Everything in there I actually did um, yesterday and gave it a good soak with water and uh, the secret sauce. And I put a thermometer in there and I measured it at 130. And that was a little, maybe like an hour ago. But that was like, I put the thermometer in, checked it real quick and patiently. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that. And I'm also going to, uh, yeah, we'll see the temperature and I'll show you, you know, the gist of it. I'm not super anal about um, the ratios, carbon to nitrogen. Um, I will say that it's probably about three quarters carbon um, to one quarter, eh, almost half and half actually. But roughly that ratio is pretty good. And of course, with the added nitrogen in the urine, uh, that speeds things up a bit too. That's just like an added bonus. You guys don't have to do all that, but let's take a look at it. All right, so as you guys can see, um, let's give you something for comparison. Here's my hand for now, but you know, it's not huge, but it's doing a really good job. This is fresh uh, grass clippings from the lawn yesterday, but I will say that I do recommend topping it with something dry uh, you know I usually use hay or something this is actually hay on standby that I'll mix in there and top it off with later right now let's take a look at the thermometer and it feels hot in there so I don't know if you guys can see this we are at 160 for the thermometer uh, 
craps out and goes down. Now it's at 140. But yeah, we were at a nice 160, so that's pretty awesome. And you know, that's just uh, digging down, not even halfway down to the container. But yeah, I'd say this is about a 50-50 mix. We have quite a bit of grass clippings and there's a lot of hay in there. We're actually seeing steam right now and it's not cold out. It's uh, 70, 75, 80 degrees out. So that is working. All right, so as you guys can see, that's working really well. Um, I don't know that I mentioned this can compost down in a couple of weeks. That's what's awesome about it too. When you have those big piles, uh, it takes a while to break things down. I'm not putting huge things in there. I do put twigs in there and such that, you know, when I call it finished, <clears throat> maybe some of the twigs don't break down completely, but as far as uh, all the basic carbon and nitrogen, it's all breaking down. It's turning into a nice dirt, or at least, you know, sometimes I use an unfinished uh, as a filler, especially with hookah culture and stuff like that. But this is very quick and it's very convenient. And I highly suggest to you guys, even if you have, which I do too, I have my main composting, but when I'm like doing little tidbits around here and cleaning up some of the hay and stuff, and I just throw it in a convenient pot right there, when I'm watering the lawn at night, spritz it, give it a good mix, and it's pretty worry-free, it's pretty care-free, so I highly suggest you guys try this. All right, so that's gonna wrap things up for today's video. Um, hopefully you guys found this interesting. Comment below if you have uh, any takes on it or any questions. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, I do a lot of different tutorials on grafting and multi-grafted trees and all sorts of stuff and even goats and chickens. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.